there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug. I have another fountain pen video for you today. This is not an evaluation or anything or a review. This is a sort of follow-up to my new Pilot E95S. One of the drawbacks of this pen, as you saw in my review, and you can see that review right here, uh, was that when you remove the barrel cap, you can't see the ink. And that's because the converter is all the way up inside that pen. Uh, someone suggested to me that I take the cartridge and put that in the pen and then just refill the cartridge. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, clean out this pen first and clean my converter and then I'm going to pierce the cartridge and suck all the ink out of it, clean that out and put my Yamabuto into the cartridge and see how that works. And I suppose after some wear uh, you just get another cartridge and do the same thing over again. So I'm going to do some cleaning and then we'll try it. So I just ran a little bit of water through because I'm not going to be changing color but I did want to pierce this cartridge first. There we go. So that is pierced and it leaked a little bit of water out as to be expected. I'm going to pull that back out again. And then I'm going to suck the ink out of this. Sound like a vampire, don't I? See how far I can get that in there. And I'm just going to waste that ink because I don't need that Pilot Blue. I'd rather use Pilot Roshizuku. And then I'm going to run some water through that cartridge to clean it out. Got a little glass of water here. I'll just keep running water. I'll do this in fast motion. running pretty clear now. I'm wondering whether I can get that little plug out of there too. Yeah, it doesn't want to come out. Now I'm just going to shoot this with a little bit of air. It always helps drying. And I'm going to run some more water through the section. And shoot a little bit of air in there. And I'll dry this out completely. And that's pretty dry now, so let's put in some Yamabuto. I'm only going to fill it up to there, put the rest back in the bottle. And I'm going to dry out my section a little bit before I put the cartridge in. In the meantime, that's just going to live in there, just like that. Another thing that's really useful to have around is counting swabs. 
That's very deep in there. Yeah, it looks fairly clean, though. Okay. Put the cartridge in there. The cap. And it just took about 30 seconds or so for the ink to start flowing. nicely. Store that one in the tip column. I'll have to go out and get some pilot cartridges and use my own ink. And as always, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.